What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So let me go ahead and say a uh, shout out to Town Biz for putting me onto this movie. Um, I can't wait to watch this movie. Um, it's going to be coming out in theaters this October. Um, Teal, of course, based on the Emmett Teal story. Um, produced by MGM Studios. And the director's name is, I believe, is, I believe the director's name is uh, Chinonye Chukwu. I think that's the name of the director. Stars Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, Sean Patrick Thomas is in this movie. You might remember Sean Patrick Thomas from the Barbershop movies. He was also in uh, Save the Last Dance with Julia Stiles. That's when he was like kind of hot about 20 years ago, a lot of movies. I still was a, a respected actor. But you know, I was always a little period of time when they kind of hot in a lot of movies. Um, Frankie Faison is in, in his movie. Um, you might remember him. Hey, Stu! You're a rich dude, motherfucker! He's in the movie. And Roger Governor Smith is in the movie. Uh, he's a familiar face. As well, he was in a lot of movies in the '90s and 2000s. <clears throat> I believe he was in a a one man music no, was a one man performance where he played on Broadway um, Huey Newton, founder or co-founder of the Black Panther Party. Um, he was also in the movie Malcolm X: Tales from the Hood. Um, he was in All About the Benjamins. Um, you know, I think as he got older, he kind of tended to be more and more in black-themed uh, per per performances or black-themed productions. But anyway, I want to say this. I'm noticing that in, in a lot of comment sections on social media and YouTube, it's a lot of people who are condemning this movie as, you know, a movie that's going to create unnecessary um, harm, uh, unnecessary tension between the races. And, you know, uh, Hollywood, there's another example of woke Hollywood and all this. And I'm getting so tired of this because it's not really, it's not, all just coming from one side. You have a lot of younger black people I'm noticing who seem to be very uncomfortable talking about racism. You know, like they they, they want to act like it never happened. You know, um, look, you can run away from it as much as you want to. This is your history. Okay. I know there are a lot of brothers out there like the swirl. I know a lot of brothers out there in situations that, A, are not like what their predecessors were ran. But at the end of the day, this shit went on. It still continues in a lot of ways, okay? You can bury your head in the sand, act like it don't fucking happen until it happened to you. And then you want everybody to fucking feel sorry for you. But at the end of the day, this shit happened. This is one of the most egregious crimes in the history of this country. Nobody has ever been prosecuted for this shit. Now notice, nobody has a fucking thing to say when various uh, adaptations of Anne Frank are made, and rightfully so. And they've never given up trying to figure out who uh, snitched on that family and alert the Nazis they'll be held there. Nobody. I don't see nobody. You think somebody would dare open their fucking mouth and say, well, this movie is causing a lot of unnecessary tension between, you know, people who, who, who look at us as Germans. No, German people step up and say, you know what? We fucked up. We should have elected this madman. That's a blot in our history. They, they step up and say, you know what? We shouldn't have did that bullshit. You know, but with us, we're supposed to just ignore everything that happens to us that puts us in a, in a position where 
people can sympathize for us, but every time I turn the fucking news and we're made out to be criminals, or everybody's behind that shit, though. Kiss my ass. So at the end of the day, this young man's tale is going to be told. It's going to be probably uncomfortable to watch. It is. Sometimes reality is uncomfortable. You know? And sometimes a dose of reality is needed. I remember reading James Baldwin once said, you know, when he was growing up, he always rooted for the Cowboys over the Indians until he realized that he was the Indians in, in, in our society. So all I'm saying is, you know, I'm going to watch this movie. Um, it needs to be told. And yes, I'm on the record as saying that the woman who was responsible for his gruesome murder, played a large role in it, should be prosecuted. I don't give a damn how old she was or is, okay? I don't care. It's irrelevant. Do you think anybody gave a fuck about how old these Nazi war criminals were? Give a fuck if he's 94 years old. He has to pay for his crimes. Even if it ends up being a month in jail before he croaks, he has to go to fucking prison. Matter of fact, some of them died before the, the sentence was held, but they ass was outed. And like I said before, these people had to run from Germany. They had to run away from there, and their life was never easy. They always had that fear in the back of their head of being discovered. Some of them had plastic surgery to change their appearance. They had to go far away from Germany and change their name and cut off uh, prior family members. Uh, they did all this shit, right? Had to worry about being outed on a daily basis. This woman gets to live her life. She's got to live her life for 67 fucking years. Emmett Till never grew up. And his mother, who was a young woman at the time, lived the rest of her life hoping that there'll be justice for her son. And she passed away a couple of years ago, never seen justice. And we find out that there was supposed to be an arrest warrant issued for her and her husband and uh, her, her brother. And it never was delivered. And then the, the top cop in the state where this crime was committed recently said, well, no, nah, there's not enough, there ain't enough evidence, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, of course there will be enough evidence. Because you're looking at your career, motherfucker. And possibly your life. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why when people say that the criminal justice system is just, I tell them to go kiss a hippopotamus asshole. Because it's not. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it.